huge believer in bait scent, but about four years ago, I saw a video with Manny Chi talking about bait scent and how he uses it more as a lubricant to get a better hook set on the fish. And that made perfect sense to me. I've been doing it ever since. So it was cool to see swim bait underground come out and actually call it a bait slick, but definitely still stinks. Sometimes I pop the nose of that hook in just a little bit. It'll still pop out. Just to get a little more weedless. Bullseye. Another little trick you can do with baits like the Citizen that don't have that head case harness, you can swap out these little screws that come on the beast hooks with some beefy ones. I got this from, uh, came with the weight, uh, toxic bait weight frogs. I don't know where you would actually buy them from in bulk, but you want to unscrew this one, pop that one off, hook this one on. I like to screw it in extra deep so when you set that hook in place, you have absolutely no gap right there. That uh, should be a lot harder to pull that out of that nose. Can't do it with every bait. This is the Citizen 7. I wouldn't recommend it probably on the Citizen 6. Uh, they're, just, they're a lot thinner, but that should last a lot longer. Look how gnarly and chewed up this Citizen is. Pickle trying to take it from me. Ain't happening. It was a powerful mutagen.
want to talk a little bit about uh, swim bait repair. You can see up here in the northeast we get absolutely annihilated with these pickerel. This is just from one outing anyways. 7.5 tail chewed right off. Got a little zombie tail action going on. So what I did with this one is did a nice straight cut. Put a little SB weld on it. Hold it together and then flash it with the torch until that plastic melts around that seam and you can see that ain't going anywhere until another pickle decides to take it. So what I'm going to do right now is try and fix up this 6.0. So what I do first is spots like this or like this put some SB weld on or cement it. When you first apply that it might make things look like it's going to split even worse, but you got to put some on and then hold it together. And then I take the torch and start to flash it. So. Alright, so the video isn't 30 minutes long. Off camera, filled all the cracks and tooth marks and everything with Mend It. So you probably could just use it just like this, but I like to flash everything back together a little bit tighter, a little bit stronger with a torch. So I had some really bad tears right around there. So I flashed it with the torch a little bit higher, let that plastic run down a little bit, fill in those cracks, and then I'm just going to hold it perfectly vertical so I don't screw up the position of that tail at all or hang it up until it cools off. Now I can just throw some new eyes on. See it's got that glossy look back to it. Like I said, the more these things get beat up, it seems like the better they work. The eyes, I don't think the fish care, but I'll throw them on anyways. What I do is stick them on and then I'll put a thin layer of SB weld over them just to try and get them to last a little bit longer. Pretty much that's all I do. Hopefully this time catch more bass than pickerel. That's it. And of course, put them back in the case that they come in. Keep them nice and straight for when you're ready to tie them back on.